Hey guys, this is Tony Stark for NetbookNews.com. No, I'm just kidding. I'm Sasha for NetbookNews.com. And I'm over here at the Giga.de headquarters in downtown Berlin. And while I'm taking a little zip of this fantastic GTA, was it three? Cup? I can actually already show you the Samsung Galaxy Note, which looks uh, almost like the version that I've had before. But I tell you one thing, I just got the update to Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0.3 and I'm going to do a walkthrough right now with you. Okay, here we go. So as I told you already, um, let's just double check it. While I'm on in the display settings over here, let's head over to phone and there you can see it. It's 4.0.3. I think um, we've already had like a 4.0.4 version on a couple of uh, sand ice cream sandwich, not only sandwich, but ice cream sandwich devices before. But what I would like to show you in general is the look and feel of it. Right now I'm using the Go Launcher X, which is a custom launcher that I've been using for way over a year right now. Let's hit the home button and let's go to the traditional touch with launcher. It takes a while until all the widgets are popping up but, and until it caches, not only until it caches it. Okay, hold on a second. You know what, that might be a matter of the installation of different launchers, because it always seems that it takes a while until all these widgets and graphics are cached. Uh, the first experience and what you've noticed is this almost looks like a gingerbread device and actually it is. It's basically the same update that we've seen with the Samsung Galaxy S2. This is the TouchWiz experience. There's nothing vanilla, uh, vanilla ice cream sandwich like. Look at this. This looks kind of boring to me. Let's go back to the home screen. I'm going to show you how they're handling widgets. Okay, just press on here. And then we have this additional submenu popping up. And when I'm going to widgets, I can't even see a preview of those widgets. And this is the beauty of Ice Cream Sandwich because I see the different sizes and I can just move them up to um, the desktop or the home screen where I want to place them. There's nothing like this on the custom stock, not custom, the stock ICS ROM from uh, Samsung. So this is just a little bit disappointing because I really like the look and feel of Android Ice Cream Sandwich. And like in our video for the Samsung Galaxy S2, I think, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a little bit of a disappointment, especially when we just got back from the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 launch in London and we saw how they tweaked their touch with uh, Ice Cream Sandwich version on the Galaxy S3 and somehow I hoped to get the same experience on the Galaxy Now, but obviously this is just a boring version of the stock touch with ROM. Sorry Samsung to always rub it in, but that's how it feels for me. And that's why actually I've installed the, hold on, here we go. I've installed the uh, Apex Launcher. This takes a while. Here we go. Oops. I guess that's the problem when you have all these different launchers on your device. But as soon as it's loaded, it's just super smooth. I can see the different widgets on here and it kind of gives you this uh, vanilla experience from Ice Cream Sandwich that we all really like. I think we all really like. I still like the uh, uh, the Go Launcher, but in general, I think I'm heading over to the Apex Launcher right now. Hold it. I forgot about an app. There it is. S Note. That was too obvious. I couldn't really see it. S Note is a new little application, especially for your Note, that actually also can do like math functions right now. So as you can see, um, let me just erase all of this here. And um, maybe I can clear this one too. Oops, let's try this. Let's go back to functions. Oh my God, my handwriting is so horrible. But obviously, um, the Galaxy Note can recognize it. So that's definitely, that was definitely a challenge for this little fellow here. Um, Galaxy um, S Note, a new app to get some functions in there and to leave some voice messages, take pictures. There you go. It's a kind of S memo on steroids.
That's what okay, I. Okay, we're almost there. Keep in mind, guys, I have like three launches on it. There are a couple of apps running in the background. So I'm not so sure about this result right now. 2,770. What you should expect is something around 3,200. So if you would run this benchmark again, um, it would definitely come up with a different result. Um, another advantage of Ice Cream Sandwich on the Galaxy Note right now is, of course, that we can install the Chrome browser, finally, uh, my favorite browser for my Android devices. But just, you know, to give you a first little impression uh, of Ice Cream Sandwich on the Samsung Galaxy Note, I think that's it. I'm definitely going to test this device over the next couple of days. I'm Sasha for NetbookNews.com over here at the Giga.de headquarters in Berlin. Thanks for watching.